Hey everyone and welcome back to our new video. So in this session that we are going to discuss a very very brief uh, introduction regarding the term chromosome. So as we already know that chromosomes are filamentous bodies and which are typically present in the nucleus. So chromosome will be uh, visible only during the time of cell division and uh, in the active nucleus the chromosome is not visible because of having high water content. And the chromosome was discovered by a German cytologist Walder. It was in the year 1888. And uh, the term chromosome that typically represents chroma means color and soma means body. So chromosome is called as colored body. Okay. Then coming to next is chromosome is located in nucleus and uh, uh, most of the chromosome in a cell is what we call as autosome. In addition to that they having one or two of sex chromosome or heterosomes are present and which carry the gene for the determination of sex. Then coming to next is the chromosome was considered as a physical basis of heredity because they having special organization, individuality, function and capable of self reproduction. And the major constituent of uh, chromosome is DNA. Okay, so DNA we know that these are universally accepted genetic material. Then coming to next is the chromosome are mainly composed of thin chromatin threads is what we call as chromatin fibers. And these fibers undergone foiling and super coiling during prophase and therefore chromosomes become thicker and smaller as a result chromosome become readily observable under light microscope so that's about chromosome and uh, coming to next is the chromosome are usually classified into some categories so let's look the first one is viral genome so first of all you need to have an understanding about the viral genome the first one is the virus do not have a chromosome okay virus does not possess chromosome and all their genetic information are exist in a molecule of nucleic acid Okay, so the genetic information can be your DNA or RNA. So these DNA or RNA molecule that can be double stranded or single stranded and that can be seen as tightly packed within the capsid. So coming to next is what is meant by this capsid? Capsid means these are the protein coat of virus. Okay, so the monomers of capsid is what we call as capsomeres. Then Coming to next is prokaryotic chromosome. So prokaryotic chromosomes are usually which are circular DNA molecule. Okay. And those possess a length of 4.6 million base pair and which are large circular DNA molecule. And that contain 99 to 100 percentage of bacterial gene sometimes which is called as bacterial chromosome. Okay. So while talking about eukaryotic chromosome. So eukaryotic chromosome the first thing that you need to understand is eukaryotes contain chromosome so its genetic information are present within the chromosome okay so in the chromosome a single linear and double stranded dna molecule can be seen as usually associated with almost equal amount of histone protein mm? and apart from this non histone proteins or acidic proteins are also present and those also having a, a huge a role uh, which means they act as structural, enzymatic and regulatory proteins. So that was a very very brief introduction regarding chromosome and a very brief introduction regarding viral uh, genome as prokaryotic chromosome and eukaryotic chromosome. So I hope you understand my class and thanks for your watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So see you soon and have a great day guys and happy studying.